Good morning. There's a lot to talk about today. It's Vape AM, the most unique vape show on the internet. Today we've got the iJoy Zephyr 3, we've got West Coast Vape Expo, Van Gogh Vapes, a bunch of other stuff. Stick with me. Have a good morning. Bring some coffee. It's Vape AM. We got iJoy Zephyr 3 kid and we got West Coast Vape Expo coming up Saturday. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I am Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and this is Vape AM, the morning show for vaping Wednesdays, Saturdays. We're here at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm running a little bit late today because the internet decided just not to work until 8.30, whatever. Um, today, we're going to talk about a whole mess of stuff. I've got the West Coast Vape Expo coming up here. Make sure you join us right here in sunny Bellingham, Washington. It's Seattle, Washington. It's just a little ferry ride across from Seattle. And uh, we're having a con Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come down, hang out. I think industry day is Friday, and then uh, regular day is Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be a really good time. Come down, meet me, join me. I've got sample packs of Van Gogh vapes and my new cards and stuff to give away. So if you find me, I have sample packs of new of Tough Wicks, which she just sent me the new packaging for this stuff. It's so fantastic. I'll show you guys a little bit closer in a second. And uh, I got my cards to give away. And if you find me during the con, I'll give you some kind of prize. I don't know what it'll be, but I'll figure it out and you'll get something. Believe me. So that's going to be super fun. We're all going to be hanging out there. I want to say hi to everybody here who joined in the live show. This is a live show. And then it's also on replay. So you can tune in any Wednesday and Saturday and join in with the chat with everybody else. And the way it's structured is we'll talk about the hardware and stuff in the beginning. And then we'll have a live hangout in a few minutes. And I'll probably maybe rebuild the Cali today. Just put some new wicks on it with the new Juicy Wicks. And the new uh, Tough Wicks Juicy Wicks. I'll just show you guys that stuff. Um, hello, old guy, vape, Gary guy. Esteban Mario, TD Wester, Todd Wester Ford, Jameson, Mike, Gary, Ed, everybody, Michaela, everybody, you have a nice morning. And did I not say Zenith 3 kit? I, if I didn't say Zenith 3 kit, that's what I meant. Zenith 3 from uh, iJoy. Old vape guy Gary says that maybe I said something else. That's totally possible. So I hope all y'all are having a nice morning. I hope you have a big fat honk, honk and cup of coffee. I don't know about you, but I certainly need it on days like this. I've been running around getting my stuff together. Hey, Daedalus Kazan, getting my stuff together just to get everything together to go to the West Coast Vape Expo this weekend. It's going to be a really good time. We're going to be there with iJoy, who doesn't really do that many vape expos, and they're going to be there. We're going to meet our friends there. We're going to be there with Aspire, which is going to be really great because we'll talk to them about all these great kits they've been sending, including this cool Puxos kit, which I'm still vaping on the Aspire's uh, Cleto Pro. I like this new coil. Uh, and we're going to be there at the Van Gogh Vapes booth. Van Gogh Vapes is the premier sponsor of the West Coast Vape Expo, and it's going to be fantastic. Big booth, couches, I think. Come on down, hang out with us, try some Van Gogh Vapes. You can finally try some of this amazing e-liquid that I keep talking about for two years now. I've been talking about Van Gogh Vapes. It's been tough to get in the U.S. So good morning, good morning to Ford F-150. Nice to see you. Right now, tell me what you're vaping on if you're just tuning in. And if you're on the replay, just chime in. Tell us what you're vaping on. You can keep chatting like anybody else. I'm on my Aspire Cleto Pro, like I said, in my Puxos kit. I'm still absolutely loving the flavor on this. I actually bought Cleto Pro coils, if you can believe it. I'll just put this aside. I actually bought Cleto Pro coils. So I'll have some for the con. This still hasn't worn out. I've been using the same coil for 10 days now. Still no problem. It's good. I sense that it's about to go bad, though. It's starting to, just as of yesterday, it was giving me the very first hints of that weird spicy taste uh, that sort of presages these things going bad. So that's happening. Not a big deal. I'm trying to gauge. I used uh, all both of the coils they gave me right away when I did the review, and I never took the second one out. And I did the review, I think, a week after I put that in. So it's, uh, no, four days. It wasn't quite a week. And uh, I still haven't taken it out, so it's pretty good. And like I said, we get over a week, and uh, that was the rumor, and it's the truth here. So it's six bucks a piece. I ought to get ten days out of them. I like this thing. Plus the mod is cool. So, also, like I said, I bought Cleto Pro Coils because I really like this thing. Also, let me show you guys the new packaging for uh, Tough Wicks. And also, I'll show you my cards. I got these from Moo Cards. I'm going to be passing these out during the show. These are famous Instagram photos that I took of myself that are funny. I don't like taking serious photos of myself because I'm just not that serious a guy. 
And so the, I'm going to be passing out a hundred of these sample packs. A hundred. A hundred of these sample packs during the show. So come up to me, find me, and I'll get you one of these things until they're gone. I'm going to try to put them into the freebie pack, too. If you get one of the freebie pack, don't bother coming up and asking for another one. Uh, these are just little sample pack versions of the big ones, and these are the new big packages. And the new big packages are cool. They're now a whole inch longer, so they're much longer. This is the original. And they contain more cotton inside, and they're longer, so it's quite a bit more. Hey, Ford F-150 Angelo, thank you so much. You just donated $10 into the Super Chat system. I really appreciate it. I love you, man. And you just did it last week, too. Thank you so much. Every dime that you guys put into Super Chat or to PayPal at Juicy Jones at, um, what is it? PayPal.com forward slash Juicy Jones. Anyway, all of that goes straight towards lights and dog food and stuff like that to keep the show going. So thank you so much. You just paid for another episode of the show there. So this is the old one. And this is the new one. And so they're an inch longer. It's really good. And it's some more cotton. So she's really beefed up the package on this. This is the old Quick Wicks. So Tough Wicks simply changed its name. The old Quick Wicks became Tough Wicks. That's it. Tough Wicks. This is, remember, this is my favorite cotton for RTAs. I only used this for a whole year. For everything. And then you can use this for everything. And then this is the same wicking stranded like crazy with a little bit more absorption. This has a little bit more of a, of a buffer. Let me just see if I can get the focus up close to show you guys. As you can see, this one has a little bit more of a fuzz to it and a little bit more volume. And I like to use this in cases where I'm doing high flow situations where there can be splattering or mess or anything like that so i use juicy wicks pretty much for everything now that was what that was the big change that she made is she could she combined my favorite cotton so see that juicy wicks juicy loves juicy wicks <laughs> and believe it or not it is a coincidence that this stuff is called juicy wicks it is not i didn't work with her actually i worked with her to develop this one to be quite honest but it's a hybrid of the two that she already had and so i take the tiniest amount of credit but nothing Te Texas Tough, Tough Wicks is the greatest wicking, and it just so happens that the new Juicy Wicks is my favorite. The old one, the old Juicy Wicks was pretty close, but it was still a little bit too spongy, a little bit too much like cotton bacon for me, but this stuff is amazing. We're going to use this on the Cali later. So these are the new packages, two new packages. They're larger, high heat resistance, fast absorption, long-lasting, sterile, ready to use. I love it. And you just pop these out and stick them in and uh, peel off a little piece. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, you guys know how much I love Texas Tough. Good morning, Jameson. Good morning, Cliff Fails. Good morning, Angelo. James Rivera, Michaela, Gary, Double D's, M's, all of you guys. Thank you. It's great to see you. It is like a big Muji pad that's been perfectly, perfectly oriented for you already. So let's get to the beef. Let's do it. Let's get to the Zenith 3 kit. So this is a Zenith 3 kit, and this is a voltage-regulated mod. What voltage regulated means is that the mod is regulated and protected. It's protected against over voltage. It's protected against long, more than 10 second presses. It's protected against going over 50 amps. It's protected against um, um, a couple of things that I'm forgetting. We'll look in the manual, but it's also regulated, meaning that you set the voltage that it's going to draw out of the batteries and a chip in there manages that for you. So this isn't, this isn't a mech mod. It's regulated, but what's great about it is it's straight voltage off the batteries. All you do is set the voltage you want and go. So this is basically like part of a of a noisy cricket two that we got last year. So this is a pretty cool mod and it looks really fancy too. You'll see. It comes with two 2700 batteries in this case, and it comes with a diamond sub ohm tank in here. Two pieces, 2700 batteries are in. It says max wattage 360 volts. That's calculated based on their estimate of a 50 watt battery, which is not a good idea. There are no 50 watt batteries, y'all. There are only 40 watt batteries and maybe a 45. Someone will correct me here in the audience, I'm sure. Um, so remember, do the math based on your own actual batteries. And we know that the iJoy batteries that come in this box are 30 amp batteries. So it's 92 by 49 by 34 and a half, and I think it's actually 100 by 50, but we'll check the sizes in a second. It comes with dual 2700 batteries. That means good amperage and good battery life. Um, it's not semi-mechanical. What it is is it's regulated, but it's voltage regulated. 
uh, 360 degree adjustable voltage knob, which you'll see, and then 16 voltage levels from 2.7 to 7.2, even though the maximum of this is actually 8 point something, which we'll look in the manual, so it's strange. Uh, no screen, it has protections, and uh, a unique big size fire button is the same as 360 degree adjustable voltage knob. Personalized design, and the resistance range is 0.05 to 3 ohms, which is very useful. And it has USB port charging too, so that's really useful. You see the, the benefits of having a chip in these things. Let's take the box off, and then look at that fantastic package. I mean, tell me that isn't just awesome looking. I think they really did a good job with making this look good. It comes with X3 coils. These are the same coils that came with the uh, Avenger tank. And uh, just so you know, so I've exchanged these, interchanged these. As you know, these are the only mesh coils pretty much in the universe that I actually like. So they taste pretty good, to be honest. And I'll move the focus up so we can see a little closer. So it's more exciting. This has a two piece uh, 510, which is, or I'm sorry, 810, which I guess they'll sell different screw on tops for these, but this one comes out quite a bit. When I pull it out, I just pull it out. It has a base with two O rings in it, 810 top, which I have not found this 810 to be too bad. It's okay. I can't get this one in there, but I need to sand that down. It's a custom O ring. Here is, for example, another O-ring. Fits in there just fine, but it really likes ones that have O-rings, drip tips that have O-rings in them. Unfortunately, I prefer the O-rings inside the top, but I see why they did that. It has top fill, so we pull this off. And this is just a simple ratchet. It's not even really a full screw. You'll see there aren't very many threads in there. So that's kind of a good thing in as much as it comes off quick. And they picked large threading, so it does seem pretty secure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing well, no, I think it's okay. The thickness of the O-ring makes that work pretty well. Uh, it has a dual Cyclops bottom, which is iJoy's thing. Uh, this is loud. It's so loud, so loud, so loud. I'll show you guys in a second, but that is so loud. On Discord, they made fun of me for vaping on this and told me to get a decimal meter, which is funny. It is so loud. It's like Crown loud, the original Crown. We take this apart, it has bubble glass, which is great, which gives it, I think, a 5.2 mil capacity. If I'm wrong, forgive me. Might be 5.3 or 5.0, who knows? And you see there's the mesh coil. Someone give me a screenshot of that. That's our mesh coil. And this is designed to be operated. Come on. 40 to 90 watts. And I like these at about 70 watts. That's what I like in my case. So we're gonna put some e-liquid in this and then put it aside. That's what we're gonna do. And the e-liquid we're gonna put in this is stuff that I put aside before the show and now I cannot find because that's how I do it. What it was was the coffee. Oh, but I want to drink coffee. We'll be okay. Here it is. Coffee shop, caramel macchiato from Van Gogh Vapes. It's so delicious. We're just going to give this a quick juice em up. Remember, when you're priming your coils, don't overdo it. I put like two drops in there, as you can see. And watch, I'm going to just split two drops between all of these slits. I don't love this design where the stainless steel is inset so much from the coil, but. I will say that once primed and working, this does work pretty well. I wish that the coil were set lower into the, into the base because then the cap action would work a little bit better. Oh, that smells so good. Caramel macchiato. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Espresso and it's got like a little caramel. Oh, so yummy. Okay. We're getting to that mod. One of the reasons I'm doing this first is I want to get this in here and show you guys, and I want to read the resistance of it on a mod, and then we're going to talk about the voltage regulator. Well, let me just get this e-liquid in there. Yummy, 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 yummy. I could just vape this all day and all night. It's been pretty much everything I can do, even to keep this much of the stuff still in the house at Orbital Vaping Headquarters because it's so delicious. 
Don't forget to use the code Juicy Tones HQ at Van Gogh Vapes if you use it. So 40 to 90 watts, it says, is the mesh coil and 0.15. So let's set this aside for one second. Put our caramel macchiato away. Hey, Vape Ross Vape. Hey, Mike Bergenek. If you just joined us, it's Eli Juicy Jones here. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. You're watching Vape AM. It's the iJoy Zenith episode. We got the West Coast Vape Expo coming up. And good morning to everybody who joined us. Cliff Vales, Vape Ross Vape, Ed Double D's, Jason Kennedy. Every, and I think that's all Vaping Michael B. Love you, man. Great to see you. One of our guests on the show in the past. If you want to be on the show, send me an email at juicyjones at gmail.com and in it write in guest uh, on the subject um, and Vape AM. And then just tell me what you want to do. Everybody's welcome. I haven't had a lot of time this year to do interviews and stuff, but I love doing that stuff. Right now we're opening up the iJoy Zenith kit, which is a voltage regulated dual 2700 mod. Boom. Got the focus down a little bit low right now, but we're going to split the difference. There it is. There's an extra coil in there. When you pull this guy out, you get a kit that has batteries and everything in it. So they include a really strange uh, red glass, which is kind of weird. They have a couple of anti-breaker O-rings we're going to use. They have an 18650 adapter because this mod uses 18650 2700 batteries, either one. And this will let you put 18650s in it. It works very well. You can look at any of our videos to see breakdowns of those adapters on other iJoy mods. A USB cable. And they're 2700 batteries. iJoy includes two of these in this kit. And as you can see... These are the bad kind. Look, this is the first time that I've gotten a kit with the 15 amp batteries from iJoy. So you, the difference between them is the 15 amp batteries have four legs on the PTC ring. This is called a PTC ring on the top. And that cap has four legs on it and a black ring. You'll notice all of my other batteries have five legs and a smaller and a bigger gap. Let me zoom in way closer. So this is the first time, this is a surprise to me, this is the first time I've gotten one of the worst, ba the worst batteries. These are 30 amp batteries and these are 15 amp batteries. So do not use these in high voltage applications. In fact, these are totally unsuitable for this. It makes me a little bit sad that because of availability, they had to cut corners and switch to a worse battery. The good news is that over voltage and safety on this mod, it won't actually, I will run these through the tester. We're gonna do a charge, decharge, charge, and internal res resistance test on these. And I'll give you guys the results later. And we're gonna label these with a special label that tells us that they're the 15 amp battery as well. But we have tons and tons and tons of 30 amp batteries, thank goodness. I'm just gonna set these aside. A Little bit of a disappointment. All right. And that is it for the kit. I'm gonna put this along with my adapters. I have a lot of adapters. These are 18650 adapters. I don't use any of them. Aspire, iJoy, mainly iJoy, Wismac, and uh, that's also Aspire. Yep. All right, just gonna put this stuff back in here. Put these in the top. Our accessories go here. Let's pull out the mod. Let's see it. It's time. Sorry if that took a long time. Ooh, doggy. Look at that. This thing is so rainbow shiny. I love the matte black. This is metal. This is a large plastic knob. When you turn it, it'll make a beeping sound and you can turn it off. But I already have batteries in this thing. I did that for drama. And you'll notice that it goes from 2.7 volts to 7.2 volts over here, but it's a round robin. So you can go from the lowest setting to the highest setting. They tell you not to turn it over and over and over. It doesn't quite keep up with the fastest, but it's pretty cool. Can you guys hear that? Probably not. Maybe not. So, 
You can turn that off with three clicks. Three clicks. Yeah, see, it doesn't do it anymore. Beep, 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 beep. I'm sorry about the fingerprints. That's just how it is. This thing is so pretty. Feels like I'm just getting fingerprints all over it. Even taking it out of the box. The FBI would have a field day with this. Have you guys got sound? What happened to my sound? I heard we had a technical glitch there. A uh, Keith Connor, no, this thing goes to uh, the actual range of this thing is 8.2 volts. <clears throat> but the dial says 8.4. So it says 6.6 .6 to 8.4. So the actual working voltage, output voltage, sorry, 2.7 to 7.2. So yeah, it is 7.2 and it's using 8.4. So 7.2, sorry if I misstated that, I obviously read that wrong. So it's 7.2 volts and that's it right there. It's, it's suitable for almost everything. Yeah, I guess there's, some builds that that isn't good for, but remember that you have to watch your amp ratings too. So even at 30 amps, 8.4 volts can be quite a bit. It's got a spring-loaded 510. Here is the battery door. Got vents on the bottom. It's got ribbons. These come out of here quite easily and go in very easily. Negative, positive. They're labeled really well. The magnets are strong. I've got no build quality issues with this thing at all. It's a big, beefy, heavy mod. Feels nice in the hand. The door goes on well. The button rattles a little bit, but that's because it's plastic. If you hold it, nothing. It's a big button. It's a little bit rattling. If they had another rubber gasket, it might work a little bit better, but it's super good. Let's take this thing and find out what the resistance of it actually is and then stick it on there, and we'll pick a voltage. It looks like right now, to get 75 watts out of that, it's about 3.6 volts. This is at 0.16. So we screwed that on, and look how great that kit looks. It just looks so shiny and diamondy and amazing. I really like how this thing looks. I vape this thing at 3.6 volts, 3.3 volts, almost all the time. And there's the batteries die a little higher. And let's give this a shot. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Like I said, these are the only mesh coils anywhere that I actually like, which is weird. Mm. Bye, Ed. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. We're just vaping on the Zenith 3 here. I just took this out of the box. And this is a cool voltage-regulated mod. It's got all the protections you need. You put two 2700 batteries in it, and you get good 7.2 volts out of it. And it's a really cool heavy duty mod. It weighs a lot. It's going to weigh more than a captain. The whole thing is metal. Yeah, this whole thing is metal and metal. So it's a big mod. It's a burly mod. I think it looks fantastic. They aren't going for the svelte crowd here. This is definitely the hey look at me crowd. Big button on it. My criticisms are maybe the maybe the button is a little bit cheap feeling. I wish that the button itself didn't feel quite so plasticky. It's not that it looks bad or anything. It doesn't work badly. And I'm not dying for a big heavy piece of metal on here anyway, but it's it's still good. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. The if you turn it five times, if you click the power button five times, it turns off. And there it goes. And the tank is so loud. Can you guys hear that? 
M says she wants one, but with her little hands, it's gonna look huge. That's so funny. It certainly will. Look at that. We shouldn't have blown up in the air. These new mesh tank, these new mesh coils, I think are pretty good. I'm not sure if they updated them for this, but this is the DM mesh coil for the X3, and it's good. I love how this thing looks. It just looks so flash. Cha ching. Let's put an RDA on there. Just so you guys can see it. During the hangout after the show here, I'm going to re wick this. But there's my Cali. Looking great. Thing works great. Got plenty of e liquid in there. Can you can even turn that up? And I love this because it makes good use of the 2700 batteries that we have. We have these new batteries with good 30 amp limits. And so we have these nice, reliable 3000 ma cells to draw on. Good power plant. It's pretty cool. I don't know what kind of kits this thing comes in. I'm not exactly sure if it comes in a kit without the... I'm sure it comes in a kit without the tank because that's how iJoy goes. iJoy will sell one with and without the batteries, with and without the tank. This comes in rainbow blue and a variety of other colors too. So it comes in mirror gold, mirror blue, mirror green, mirror red, mirror purple, mirror stainless, and mirror rainbow. Look. Mirror Ravenbow. It's Ravenbow. That's funny. Translation. But you can get this in a variety of colors. I really dig it. Yeah, you'll definitely be digging through the cells on this thing if you run it at the water as I do. Just got a little e-liquid on the top there. Just wipe it out. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm Eli J.C. Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. You're watching Vape AM. This is going to be near the end of the live portion. And we're going to go into the Hangout. So you guys watching on a replay, stick around for a second if you want to interact with this live. If you just tuned in, this is the end of Vaping Headquarters, Orbital Vaping Headquarters, Vape AM. We just did the iJoy Zenith Kit. Join me at West Coast Vape Expo. We're going to be there. I'm going to give away tons of these sample packs. I have 100 of these to give away of Tough Wicks, of the new Tough Wicks for y'all. And I have them all stapled up. They're all in different order. And uh, I'll see you this weekend. I love all you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you're here live, stick around. We're going to hang out for like a few minutes longer. And thanks so much. Let's vape out on our new iJoy Zenith. This thing's burly. Thank you. Hello, 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 hello. Hi there. So let's see. Brady's going to be here Thursday. That's going to be great. I cannot wait. Double D's, is your birthday August 19th, really? That's my birthday, August 19th. I know a lot of people who have my birthday, the 17th, the 18th, the 16th, the 20th. Like a lot of people. It tells me that people love to have sex in the winter. That must be it, right? All right, let's get in here and build this thing, shall we? What do you guys think? Let's chat. I want to rewick this. I just rewicked this last night. There's certainly no need to. But what fun, huh? Why not? I'm gonna get rid of those. Put them in my handy dandy trash can. Pull off a few extra hairs. I'm not gonna to worry too much about the mess on there. I'll take a paper towel and just blot some of it off. Well, double D's, you have the best birthday. Just like mine. There we go. Wiping out the inside of the cap just a little bit. Maintenance, baby, maintenance. Love the Cali so much. There it is. We're going to take some Texas Tough and get her on in there. I'm using Quick Wicks, of course. I love Quick Wicks so much. Tough Wicks. I have to get them used to the new names. Juicy Wicks. I can just call it Juicy Wicks now. I always use Juicy Wicks by Tough Wicks. This is the new four inch strand, so we're just gonna take 
an amount like that and put the rest of this back in. You just push with your fingers here, and push it back in. It always works great. Whee! Now we have and too much amount, which is totally good. This is too much. I'm going to take a little away until we get where we want. I believe I have a two and a half millimeter inside diameter coil right there. So I'm going to prune this away until I feel like we're at two and a half millimeters, which we're close to. We're actually way over right now. Nope, that's good. We nailed it. And I'm pulling it through a couple of times both ways. We're going for the Juicy Jones U-turn. These new Juicy Wicks lengths are so awesome for this. I have extra length. absolutely love it. I have my toolbox here. Do, 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 do. Wee. Ganger embroidery scissors, go! Cali is the easiest atomizer in the universe to build. Just clip those off right there. Turn it around. Clip those off right there. Get rid of the extra strands. Then I shall take my little flat tool. And scoop that in. I'm on the other side now. Just take my flat tool on the other side and scoop it in. And you notice how I'm shoving it up underneath there, and, and then I go in from the other side. Give a little push. But the purpose of this is to absorb all of the e-liquid that comes in from the bottom of the squonk, or from the top, in this case, this is a squonker. But we're not using it as a squonker right now. So I'm getting the coils a little bit wet. And I just gave him a one second pulse. Another one second pulse. And another one. Just making sure there's e-liquid in the bottom, and I'm giving them little one-second pulses. Then, I just dab a little bit on the top, and I mean a little bit in this case. Take my flat tool, and then just touch them. I'm just touching it. Just making sure it knows the taste of e-liquid, and it's not being evasive or squirrely down there. Okay, there we go. Now a little bit more for the swimming pool inside the Cali. Love that thing so much. Don't worry too much about how they look either. If you guys don't have like perfect looking pretty coils, who cares, you're vaping it. Just you quitting smoking. That's what we do here. We help people quit smoking. This is Eli Juicy Jones, Orville Vaping Headquarters. I tell you that all we're here to do is help people quit smoking. Any other activity that vaping channels are engaged in feels like a distraction to me. It's hard to get off the cigarettes, and I really appreciate companies that are trying to give people gear that's going to last, going to use good batteries, going to work well. People like Aspire, Van Gogh Vapes, and iJoy. This thing is pretty cool. It just works like a charm. You guys want to see a want to see a shot? Do a little bit more dripping. Wow. 
thick, burly clouds. Thick, useful clouds. Yum. Oh, so good. That is yummy. Oh, I love it. So you guys tell me what you guys are doing this weekend. Tell me you're coming to the West Coast Vape Expo, I hope. I know not all of you can do that. I hope you have some coffee. I have tea, very strong tea. Mmm, yum. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, I forgot also, I put the ingestion settings. I forgot to set them on ultra low latency. For some reason, Google won't let me set that as a default. I don't know why, I have to go in and click it every single time. And it's a relatively new setting. So I forgot to this time. So there's like a 40 second gap, unfortunately, in what I say and what time, when you guys reply. So forgive me, it's a little bit slow today. That's the reason. <laughs> Nowhere. There we go. Double D's to be working. I want to try to keep, I'd like to try to do a live broadcast from my phone, but that didn't work out so great last time. Maybe it will this time. I don't know. Maybe. This thing works like a charm. The lights on it are red and then it turns red and yellow when you're at low battery and then uh, they're green when you're vaping and it's at full battery, then they turn red and yellow when it's at middle battery and then when it's about 3.6 volts or 3.5, they turn red and then it'll go off at 3.3 volts or 3.2 at the very bottom there. Nice. Looks like James Rivera is going to Six Flags. That'll be nice. And Double D's is, you got a haircut. New tires, wash the car. That sounds fun. That seems nice. <laughs> Michaela said her broom is in the shop being tuned up. Unfortunately, can't come to the expo. That'd be funny. Be funny if we had all had a broom to ride around on. That'd be great. Just trying to clean up my thing here a little bit. Just get down there and put some more e-liquid on there. The Cali is such an interesting and easy atomizer there's nothing to it really this atomizer is my absolute favorite one of all of them combined really if you if you want to build rdas and you're interested get a cali no question Looks like Dr. Dolphy says he's driving home from the beach house Thursday. He's getting ready for work on Monday. Lame. It was nice. Dr. Dolphy was at the beach all weekend. That's so nice. I believe they're out in Denmark and it must be so nice. There's trouble brewing in Denmark. My Shakespeare quote failed me there. But there's no trouble with y'all. You guys are great. If you haven't joined us on Discord, make sure you do that. Click the Discord link in the description. Because we chat there all the time. Oh yeah, and Jameson says that he was just there last October, and that was Zion. I haven't been to Zion National Park. I would love to. I absolutely love Utah. I've been through Utah a million times, but never during the summer long enough to stay at Zion. I've been through there in the winter about five jillion times. I wonder why I'm always trying to drive through western states in the winter. <laughs> this is my thing. This thing is pretty good. Let's see what kind of load this is pulling. I'm doing that by looking at my It's not telling me amperage. Oh, but I wish it would. I'm gonna try this other one. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a 25 amp build. So remember that this build is not for 18650 batteries, most of them. I have a 25 amp exactly build on this thing. It's not getting hot with the Zephyr, or I'm sorry, the Zenith 3. The Zenith 3. I always forget to turn the air back on. Yum. Time for more dripping. 
Michaela says, am I having tea or coffee? I'm having tea today. Delicious tea. Look, it's almost empty down there. Just re-dripping here. Dripping. Yeah. This is my morning sunshine cup. Liquid sunshine. Mmm. The tea we drink is crazy PG tips, which is really high caffeine tea. It's pretty good. Looks like Daedalus Kazan says he's having his closing sale of his beach house in three weeks. That's great. I'm sure that's finally, it's good for you if you're trying to sell your house. <laughs> Can't decide. That's funny. Well, I hope that you have coffee and tea. I hope all of you guys have a very, very, very strong cup of coffee and tea. There's nothing even wrong with this. Look at what else I'm vaping, if you guys are interested. So, I've got this thing on the desk. I'm also vaping on my Aspire Puxos kit with the bubble glass on. And the bubble glass is on. I've got that rubber thing on because look at the... If you see that, if this thing drops, it could break. So, I've got a rubber thing on it. With these new coils. I just rebuilt this thing last night. And there's my Aromamizer Supreme. And I did that because it was working pretty well, but I was seeing a little bit of condensation on the outside when I fill it and stuff, and it wasn't satisfactory. So I went in, just did it again. What do I have here? 75 watts. That's about where I like this. And Double D recommends Yorkshire tea. You know, actually, I don't prefer Yorkshire tea. We have all that stuff, builder's tea, Yorkshire tea, and uh, there's like five different kinds over at the international market. And for us, PG tips is the one. I don't know why, but like that one is the, the one I can drink all day. And it gives me a huge PG, I mean, a huge caffeine. Because my thing is I'm used to coffee and my girlfriend drinks tea. And so we had a compromise where I went and I found the highest caffeine tea I could find that I liked. I think the Yorkie tea doesn't taste as good to me. And the Builder's tea had a dirty taste to it. It was good. It was okay. It's high caffeine. I was like, yikes. Uh, Jameson said he hiked a lot at Grand Canyon. That's cool. I'd like to go to the Grand Canyon. Can you believe I've been all over the Western States a million times and I've never been to the Grand Canyon? It's totally insane. I've been right by the Grand Canyon probably seven or eight times and never stopped. Never had time. Yum. That's good. It's got eaten mess in there. Old vape guy Gary says that the magnets on his capo squonk door are gone. Are you talking about these right there on that? I have a piece of wire on mine. Look at that. Ouch. Is it these magnets right here that are gone? Old vape guy Gary. Because what I recommend is I recommend um, sending it to iJoy. But I'll tell you what I'll do, Gary. I have one that I have to give iJoy that's a warranty. So I can trade you this door. So I'll give you this door. If you want, I can trade you. This one has a bad button. I could not repair it, but I'd be happy to keep this door. So there, I'll give them back this. And you keep this. That sounds fine. That's what we do for the fam. Yum. So everybody, what is it? We're 45 minutes in. I gotta go. We gotta go get ready. I have to clean up some more stuff and I have to do more unboxing videos. Actually, here's what's coming up next. We've got the Rift Core Duo by Joytech. You guys know this thing, it's got the million puff coil on it, they say. And the wormhole by Vapefly. Heaven gift sent these. So I gotta I gotta shoot videos of those. I hope all of you are going to have a great weekend. Please join me at West Coast Vape Expo. If you're anywhere near Washington, 
drive over or say hi. Make sure you message me, DM me on Instagram at Juicy Jones or Twitter, Juicy Jones HQ or Twitter at Juicy Jones or right here on YouTube. You can do that there. And um, you guys are the best. I love all of you. So let's vape out. I'm going to get my new Zenith 3 kit. Whoa. Make sure I have some e liquid in there. I do. And we can go vaping together. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks so much, all y'all.